Okay, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys might be wondering why I've been off the radar lately. So I'd like to start this video by saying that I have moved back to Singapore. Um, if you guys were following my channel from last year, you guys might know that I was in Singapore for a couple months last year. Um, then I moved to Mumbai and now I've officially, me and my family have moved back to Singapore. We moved back in June. Um, I was supposed to film this video informing you guys about me moving back in June or July but um, I wasn't able to film this video because something unfortunate happened. Um, yeah, so after we moved, um, we started um, renovating um, the house that we moved in. Um, we were staying in the same house where the renovation was taking place so it was really difficult for me to film some sort of video or something for you guys because i was not in the right state of mind because if you have stayed in a house that's been renovated it's very frustrating like you know being in a construction site and everything so i kind of took a little bit of a temporary break but i did upload one or two shots here and there but i was not like full-time uploading so i had taken kind of like a small hiatus in between and due to me moving i had to like get my admission sorted over here in singapore because i was studying back in mumbai and i taken a year break from my studies so i had to resume my studies again over here in singapore so i had to get all the documentations done back in mumbai sort all of that out and also do I think I gave in a test also an English language test because I studied in Mumbai so I gave the IELTS test over here in Singapore so that I could be eligible for admission here in Singapore so I was busy with all that stuff like renovation and it was really difficult because immediately after we moved in like in couple weeks and we like started renovating the house and me and my mother like we were still in the zone of like you know moving back from Mumbai to Singapore so we were not completely like over that zone yet because while we moved to um, Singapore I was not well like you know during the last few days then over here so it was really difficult you know getting into that zone and then the jet lag was there and all that stuff happening so um, that's what happened from June to August I'd say and yeah then i just don't know how to break this but i lost my dad it, it's been really hard i really didn't want to cry in this video but <laughs> it's something that i've not digested still yet it's been a little over a month but it's been really hard because it happened um, all of a sudden we were not prepared he was completely like healthy fit and fine I don't want to get into details like how he passed and everything um, just too much of personal information I don't want to put that out there here but um, it's been really difficult and like we weren't able to see his body for two days there was this uncertainty I don't Till this day, it's been um, one and a half months. I still feel that he's alive and he's gonna come back to us. And it's even more difficult because my main reason to move back to Singapore was that um, all four of us could live as a family because we stayed apart for 11 years and all of this happened all of a sudden. So it's very difficult. I'm taking one day at a time. It's been really hard. Um, I just couldn't find, you know, the right headspace, the time to record this video. And you know what? What is one of the most unfortunate thing is that the day he passed, we had just finished renovation one day before that, and that same morning I was just busy planning what I want to film and post for my YouTube channel and in an hour or so we got this news that he's no more and we couldn't see him on the last day when he passed so it's really it's really hard I've been trying to be really strong but it's hard because 
it was something that was uncalled for and I have a lot of other mental pressure upon me as well being the older daughter dealing with this grief and then suddenly there's pressure upon you people start looking at you in a different way that okay now you have to handle everything and a lot of um, pressurizing a lot of targeting has happened behind the scenes I don't want to get much into the details but it's been hard because some people didn't really understand that I was still not in the state even though I was trying my level best to put up a strong front try to be as all right I could be people still still did not think about me and my family's mental like you know state still they did whatever they did so yeah there's been a lot going on behind the cameras and um yeah i just yeah I'm, i've been trying to slowly take one day at a time get into the routine and um you know like i've started studying again i've started i've resumed my studies so it was just around the time when he passed so two weeks later i started my classes it was really hard and i'm currently looking out for a job obviously so um yeah i just you know i don't know i don't know why i cried all of a sudden i had decided beforehand that i wouldn't cry but I don't know it's probably just like a trigger point you know you just can't help it when you think about something or someone to be specific it's really hard because you know here in Singapore even the house you can just feel his presence around us and almost every single time when I go out there's something or the other like some incident or some story or something attached to him so for me, Singapore is equal to my dad. So it's been really hard, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna give up. This has been a really huge, major setback for me and my family. I think this is one of the worst situations we could be in, personally speaking. I know a lot of people have it worse, but um, yeah, it's the worst situation any like person, like for me especially, like could be in especially due to it being all of a sudden like like literally in a matter of seconds our lives have changed but i'm not gonna give up um i'm definitely not gonna give up because i'm my father's daughter and i know he wouldn't want me and my mother and my sister to give up on life i know he would want us to continue and live our life but it's going to be difficult but I'm going to take my time because right now the way things are they're not the way I planned it to be especially you know I feel like I'm just going more further away from the life I had planned for me and my happiness in general I feel like this is my happiness and I'm just going in the opposite direction but it'll take some time probably a couple months a year or so for us to like get over this get back with our life accept it most importantly it's going to be hard but i'm going to take one day at a time and what the thing that really breaks my heart is not the situation that we are in just because he was so young and there was just so much he wanted to do and achieve in life still and all of that was taken away from him in a matter of seconds that's something that that that's the reason my heart breaks the most i just want to say i'm pretty sure he's around us around me while I'm filming this i really love you i really miss you i'm pretty sure mom and abu also do i really wish i had said this to you at least once on your face and I'm not gonna give up. I'm definitely not gonna give up. I'm a strong daughter. I'm gonna take care of mommy and Abno. And 
yeah don't worry because um it'll take time but we'll get things right we'll get to the right track don't worry um we're just taking our time to just put everything together get things sorted so yeah just keep guiding us in the right way and keep protecting us that's all i can say um anyways that was too much actually there's a lot more i wanted to say but i don't want this video to be really long um yeah and i don't want to cry even more so i'll probably maybe i'm not sure talk about everything in detail probably in some other video or something i don't know but i don't want to drag this even further uh, and make this like a sob story or anything um i want to end this video on a light note so i'll just give you guys a quick disclaimer so as i mentioned i've started studying again so i'm going to be a little bit preoccupied with my classes and also going to look out for a job so i might start working really soon so it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to um kind of plan my videos like almost every single week i will try my level best to be as frequent as i can um but no promises um, I'll try. I'll try as much as I can from my end to um, give you guys what you want. And I am having a really major creative block. So if there is any video suggestions that you would want me to see, leave in the comment section down below. I always go through my comments. Um, and apart from that, Okay, yeah, I've decided one thing on my YouTube community page. I will probably put like um, a poll or something with a um, couple YouTube video ideas. So you guys can vote which kind of video you want to see next so that I know that this is genuinely something that you guys want to see. Because I don't want to just put out video just for the sake of putting out video. It needs to be something that I would want to do and something that you guys want to see as well because... I believe in quality over quantity that's why I don't try myself like sorry force myself sorry my bad force myself to put video every single week because I feel that's really mm, it's not something how I function I feel like you know just for the sake of being seen or relevant Posting every week or every day is just too much for me, especially with now how my routine is going to be. It's going to be hard, but I'll try as much as I can from my end. And don't forget to leave the comment section down below on what all you would want to see from me. And um, I'll see you guys in my very next video. Bye, and I love you all.